I have just completed a hard day's man labor with my power tools, as I often do. And I want to check and see, because I was curious, how many amps do all these battery chargers pull when I plug all the batteries in? And we have like a plethora of electrical no-nos here, but we have a little device where I can check amperage. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 0.24. That's just the charger sitting idle and the lighting right here. That's all that is. So we're going to plug them in and I'm going to get the biggest ones first. All right, so let's do four amp hour. It's charging and it goes up to point, let's see, point seven eight, somewhere in there, point seven eight. It goes up to point seven eight. So that's a pretty substantial jump. I right, just got a three amp hour. Let it start charging. All right, charging now. 1.33 amps coming through here. All right, not too bad. Let's see, what's the next biggest one? We need a two, two amp hour. Where's the two amp? There we are. Two amp hour. Put it in this one. All sorts of chargers here. So I guess charging up now. So now we're up to 1.81. Oh, wait, wait. Let's see. What? Yep. All right. And another two amp hour. Let's see, let's make sure it starts charging. Now oh, there we are, we're charging. And now we're 2.37. Nice. Okay, let's see. I think we have a whole bunch of 1.3s left here. All right, let's pick this one because you're lucky. A 1.3 or 24 watt hour. And now we're at two, let's see, 282. And here is um, a power jump charger for skill. I don't know if it's gonna jump into that mode because it's not that depleted, as you can see. In fact, it's just one bar depleted, so let's see. Let's see where we're at. We're at two, I dropped two, it's so kind of fluctuating right around 2.8 amps. All right, that one has like a little, sounds like a fan and stuff in there. And now, up to 3.94. Look at that sucker go. It's all over the place. Look at that, 4.3. It's a little bit more than I thought it was going to be. And the other side of this thing multiplies it by 10. And it's overload because it's multiplied by 10. It's a 40 amp. Let's go up to 200 amps to see if it says 40. Overlight. All right, let me see. There we are. Let's try it now. 45 amps. So roughly it's 4.5 amps. That just multiplies the reading to make it easier to read, I guess, from multimeters. So four and a half amps for all of our batteries going at it. This is more than I usually do, but we use everything today. So still have a few more. And I'm taking one up to the house there in this light, which I love. That light's awesome. And I have a four amp hour I'm gonna take out there because I'm gonna do some painting. And all right, good deal. I was kind of curious about that. I don't know if you guys are ever curious about that, but uh, now we know, at least in my case.